Pig Meat Strut. Uh, it's a really fun Big Bill Brunzi tune. There's actually two guitar parts to this. Uh, I'm only going to focus on the Brunzi part. But he had a partner with him named Frank Braswell, who would be playing <clears throat> a walking bass kind of thing. <laughs> Later on, when we get into breaking the song down, we're going to combine both Brunzi's part and Frank Braswell's part using that walking bass line along with the melody that Brunzi was playing. Uh, so first things first. Uh, first verse. We're in a key B. I'm using sort of your just basic uh, first position E chord. Um, and the melody is played on the first string. So you just gotta time that with your alternating bass. You start with the bass note, then you pinch. First measure of the melody um, starts on the second beat. Two, three, and then uh, a second measure of uh, the melody shifts forward to the first beat. That's your basic groove there for your E chord. Uh, there are other versions of this song, uh, and it might even happen in the verses of the original recording, where he'll play the melody over the E chord on the second string. Nonetheless, when you go to the A chord in bar five, you're basically playing the same melody. You can either play that A chord with the monotonic bass on the fifth string by itself, or you could alternate. E chord. Now here's a, a phrase that the Brunzi plays at the end of every verse, and it's basically a, a single picked, uh, single note pick kind of thing. Um, Brunzi didn't use a thumb pick. Uh, I think occasionally he used a flat pick, but I th I'm guessing that he probably used some combination of his thumb and first finger to play this line. I'm going to use my thumb pick. And I'm going to pretty much hold it like a flat pick, so between uh, thumb and fourth, first finger, and I'll play this. Okay, to break this down into pieces, the first line is you're kind of walking into what would be a B chord. A, B flat, B. Then we're going to jump over to the first string, play open first string, walking up F sharp, G, 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 G sharp, excuse me. Open, open 
7th string. And then basically this looks like a D7 chord, but it's an E7 chord. If you were to move D7 two frets up, it's an E7. Then you have this line, the single back to single string. Sorry. Hammer on on the third string, first fret. And then a little hammer on on the fifth string between B flat and B. And finally back to an E chord. So do that in pieces again. And then all the way through on that uh, section uh, without stopping. One, two, three. So it may take some time to get that riff down, but if you're playing through the whole song, you're going to get lots of practices because there's three more verses to play. And it's going to have that same four bar section at the end of each verse. Take it slow. Take it slow and work your way through that section and then move on to the next verse.